Third species counterpoint. Rule number one. Four notes of counterpoint for each note of cantus. Rule number two. The counterpoint may begin with four quarter notes or a quarter rest and three quarter notes. Rule number three. The penultimate measure must contain four quarter notes in the counterpoint. In second species, you could either have two half notes or one whole note in the second to the last measure, but in third species, you must have four quarter notes in the second to the last measure. And as rule number four states, the last measure will contain a whole note in each voice. Third species rule, number five, stepwise motion predominates. As you can see, there are just a few skips, usually a third or a fourth throughout this entire example. Rule number six, the downbeat is always consonant. And rule number seven, no leaps over the bar line in the counterpoint. This is the primary distinctive of third species counterpoint. Always move by step over the bar line. Rule number eight, no accented fifths or octaves. In third species, accented fifths or octaves occur from beat three to beat one and are not allowed. However, fifths or octaves on consecutive downbeats are now okay because they are considered far enough apart. Parallel fifths and octaves occur from beat four to beat one and are still not allowed. Rule number nine, trills are still forbidden, but now in third species, trills require five notes. So as you can see in measure two and three here, we have four notes, A, B, A, B, but because they are part of this ascending pattern, we don't consider this a trill because it's only four notes. However, over here in measures eight and nine, C, B, C, B, C. There is a five note trill. This will not be allowed. Four notes is allowed. Rule number 10 deals with acceptable dissonances. As said before, the downbeat of every measure in third species must be consonant. But beats two, three, and four may be dissonant, but only with acceptable dissonances. And those four dissonances are A, passing tone, B, neighbor tone, C, changing tones, and D, nota cambiata. Passing tone occurs in measure one. A dissonant neighbor occurs in measure seven, A, B, A. Changing tone occurs here in measure five and measure 11. And we will show an example of nota cambiata later. One further distinction or clarification regarding changing tones. The changing tone must contain one whole step and one half step. As in measure five, it is a whole step from A to G and a half step from B to A. And the same happens in measure 11. Half step A to B, whole step G to A. A changing tone with two whole steps or two half steps are not allowed.
Nota cambiata is a five note pattern in which only the second note is dissonant. And this is what the nota cambiata pattern looks like. Ascend to a dissonant by step, leap to a consonant, and then re change direction by step. And so if you th can think of this as two thirds, here is F, G, A, and B, A, G. Da, da, dum, da, da, dum. But we just leave out that middle note. Da, 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 dum. That is nota cambiata. This is an acceptable leap from a dissonance. And it works in the lower voice as well. Da, 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 dum. So we have, again have a third B, A, G, and a third F, G, A. And so here's examples of nota cambiata. You do not have to do this, but it is an acceptable dissonance in third species counterpoint. Rule number 11. Successive passing tones are allowed if they are a perfect fourth and a tritone. We look at measure 10. We have two dissonances in a row. A consonant 6, dissonant tritone, dissonant fourth, consonant third. This is acceptable of consecutive or successive passing tones. Rule number 12 is probably the most commonly made mistake is leaping to or from a dissonance. And so in example three, we are leaping from a consonant fifth to a dissonant seventh. And in rule, in measure number five, we're leaping from a dissonant second to a consonant fifth. In both nota cambiata and changing tones, you are leaping to and from dissonances, but these are acceptable uses of that. No other leap to or from a dissonance is allowed. Rule number 13, embellished high points are possible with a dissonant neighbor tone. If we look to measure 10, we'll see that the high point for this counterpoint is D, and so the D appears twice with a, a dissonant neighbor tone E flat. This is not considered a double high point, nor is the E flat considered the high point. The high point is D that has been embellished. <laughs>